ice, and it doesn't take much ice to cause big problems on the roads. Charlotte could see as much of a quarter of an inch when the storm rolls through Sunday. Queen City News Chief Transportation Correspondent Hawker Vanguard is live along I-85 for us with how crews are working to keep conditions as safe as they possibly can. Hawker. That's right, Lindsay. Here at the very busy intersection of I-85 and Highway 321, this interchange can become very slick and very dangerous and fast. And that's why road crew workers are trying to get ahead of this storm right now. Let's head up to Hickory, where those road crew workers are in the yard trying to get all their heavy machinery in place. That's all going to be very useful to clear the snow once it begins to fall. The city of Hickory says they have hundreds of tons of sand and salt ready to be used. And what's going to be very helpful in the preparation of the roads before before the storm gets here is brine. That solution is being laid down now using a fleet of brine trucks. Public Works Director Stephen Miller says that despite the labor challenges with having so many people out sick because they have COVID or they were exposed to COVID, everyone is pitching in to make sure roads are clear. We have COVID protocols in place, so, so we have some folks that are on COVID protocol. They either have COVID or they uh, have a cr close proximity. They're, on, uh, they're at home, so we, we're missing some folks from that. That, that's a challenge, but we'll get through it. I want to give you another behind the scenes look at these invaluable brine trucks because they serve such a valuable purpose before the snow and the ice get here. The trucks are loaded up with that salt water solution they make at the public works yard. Then these trucks drive up and down streets dumping the solution so that when the water evaporates, the salt is left behind, making it harder for the ice to form. But I'll tell you, going ahead from Sunday into Monday, we're told that's going to be the most challenging set of days because of the refreezing of snow and the very low temperatures. It's supposed to get very, very cold. And as the temperatures drop, salt becomes less effective, but that's where sand comes into play. Live in Gaston County, I'm Hawker Vanguard, Queen City News.